What's up guys, Turgo Live here, and in today's video, I'm actually gonna show you how to set up OBS Studio in 2021. Now, OBS is a very versatile program you can use to record as well as stream, and you can stream to the major platforms like Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. In this detailed tutorial, I'm gonna teach you everything that you need to know to be able to go live for your first time. If this video does provide you value, make sure you subscribe, like, and also comment down below any questions that you may have. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the video. Okay, so for the first thing you're gonna do is go to obsproject.com. This is where you can download the program to run. Um, if you're Windows, Mac, or Linux, it supports all of those. Go ahead and click that and download the program and then follow the prompts so that it is fully downloaded on your computer there. All right, guys, let's go over the basic layout of how OBS will look when you first download it. Right here, this window is going to be the preview that your viewers are going to see uh, when you're outputting your video. Um, right over here to the left is multiple different scenes that you can flip through that have different camera layouts, have different mic settings, have different things and alerts and different things that you wanna flip through. Then sources are your actual sources like your video capture, your capture card, uh, your microphone. Um, it has different settings within there. And then you also have your audio mixer right here. You can change the decibels depending on how high your audio is coming out of your stream um, and then right here is the scene transitions and you can change how each transition happens with your stream you can do slide swipe fade normally i just leave it to fade as that's a good setting to have for that and then on the right side is going to be the controls where you can do your start streaming your start recording and then studio mode is where you can look at a certain scene before people see it and then you always want to make sure you flip back to the original scene but then settings is where you're going to really access a lot of different things that we'll go through in the next steps here so let's hop into the settings control so that you can get everything set up for your first stream all right so the first tab is going to be the general now typically i don't change anything in this i usually leave the theme as default i leave every other option regular but you can mess around with it as you see fit for your stream um, another good option here is to automatically record when streaming you can choose to do that if you're coming up on a stream that you want to record record the whole stream and edit it down for your YouTube videos, that's a good option. Uh, but other than that, that's really the general tab there. All right, so the next panel is very key. This is exactly where you're going to be streaming to, what platform, right? Here at the top, you have Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, and even Restream or even Twitter that you can stream to. Now, a lot of you would be clicking on either Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook as the main. Um, then once you click on that, you're gonna make sure you do the server that best fits you. A lot of times it defaults to the proper server that's necessary. Um, and then you're gonna wanna get the, your stream key. Now your stream key is in the Twitch back office, like your stream dashboard. Um, also YouTube for their platform, you would wanna click it on the live platform um, and then you can find it there. Um, right here though, I have to connect my account and that's recommended and it's gonna have me log in and the password and it's gonna send you a code so that you can log into Twitch and stream to Twitch. Now um, you can use that and then has different options for that. And then down here you would wanna click on apply and then you're good to go with that panel there. Okay, so right here is the output panel. This is exactly the quality that your stream is gonna go out to your viewers app. It has a simple as well as an advanced setting here. And I recommend that you actually stick with just simple for now, um, especially if it's one of your very first streams and you can mess with those settings later down the way. Uh, but the bit rate dictates the definition of your stream. Higher the bit rate, the higher quality stream there is. Um, starting out at like 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 being high quality and everything else being lower than that. Now your encoder um, is how the video is being processed out to the servers um, and what hardware is used to do that. Now, typically I recommend you use the X264 as it uses your CPU to process that data and get it out to the servers. You can use your video card, which is what this is, NVENC. Um, However, if you're doing a very graphics intense game, like, you know, Crisis, for example, this can bear down on your stream. So I recommend you do X264 and let your video card 
process the gaming information there. Now the recording is whenever you hit that start recording button, this is the recording path where those videos are gonna be downloaded to. Um, typically you wanna just leave it as the same as the stream, but the big key thing that I do wanna mention to you is you don't want it in the MKV format, otherwise you're gonna have to convert it in with some sort of converting software that I do not know, honestly, personally. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you switch that over to MP4, and then whenever you output that video, it becomes an MP4, easily able to be edited for a YouTube video. And custom Muxer settings, as well as enable replay buffer, I don't ever touch, personally, myself. All right, so the audio panel is pretty self-explanatory. You can really mess around with different audio settings where audio goes. You can enable push to talk, push to mute, different advanced stuff there that you can do. You can also mess with different channels on how you want the audio coming into your speakers or going out to the stream. Uh, mess around with these settings as you do see fit for this here. So the video panel is how your stream will look out to your viewers. Also the canvas that you have to work with the, for the media that you're trying to put in OBS. Now you can have your base canvas be either 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. Now this base canvas is what you have as real estate to work with. That's what's gonna be shown on your side here. You can change what the viewers look at on what is scaled out to them, the maximum resolution. So you can have a base canvas at 1920 by 1080, but your stream comes out at 720p. That's how that can look in that regard. Or you can have it still scaled out exactly how it looks. Now, granted, whenever you switch your base canvas, your anything that you maneuver and anything that you make the size of looks extremely different. So you're gonna have to resize it after you do that. Now by cubic, a lot of times, um, you know, I don't really touch this as well. Um, Bicubic is a good sampling size to get out the information in the video out to the viewers. And then the FPS here, the FPS settings, this is really what your stream can handle. Now, if your computer cannot handle more than 30 frames per second at the, like, at the cost of trying to raise it, your stream is glitchy and laggy, um, then you're gonna wanna leave it at the 30 frames per second. But if your computer can handle it, you're gonna wanna make sure you do this at 60 frames as that's gonna have a better quality outlook to the viewers. So the next panel is hotkeys. Hotkeys are awesome to use. You can start the stream, stop the stream, push to mute, do different desktop audio settings, everything in that regard. One cautionary thing I want to mention to you is those hotkeys do work outside of OBS. So with that being said, is you're gonna wanna pick some keys that you don't use very often from very much things because I was accidentally starting my stream before when I was typing in another window uh, using this hotkey. And that was really funny because people were like, why are you live? I was like, oh, I was testing stuff for OBS. So definitely be careful when it comes to the hotkeys options. So the last tab is going to be advanced. Now, I'll be frank and honest, I do not touch this tab at all ever so typically if you just leave this tab alone you're doing totally fine if you do more research and find other uses of this tab definitely be my guest uh, but this is really what it is it's there it's awesome but it's not necessarily needed for beginner streams here so We'll just go ahead and go on to the next steps here. So we're gonna go over how to set up your first scene here, but first of all, I wanna show you how to create multiple scenes so that you can flip through them throughout the stream. Say one window you wanna have your cam be big, uh, another one you want your game and then a webcam overlay. Um, so what you would wanna do is you go down to this plus symbol, you can name it whatever you want. Let's just say game cam, for example. And then there's the second one and then you can do a third one and we can say hey this is gonna be our starting soon screen all right and then you now have three different scenes right here and when you flip through each one of them you're gonna have different sources in each one of these scenes and you can also copy paste some of them as you see fit and also resize them within that window so now we are gonna to wanna to build out these scenes with the sources so it shows up to the viewers here. And so where you're gonna to wanna to start is click on the plus symbol down in the lower left 
and it's going to bring up all these different options depending on what you are looking to add to your scene um, but first of all you're going to want to make sure there's some sort of display capture or video capture device from like a ps4 through an elgato or even the game capture if you're using obs on your streaming gaming pc and you only have one pc to use so right here i'm going to go ahead and click on game capture because it's automatically going to add the game that i'm going to do and i'm going to go ahead and get that for world of warcraft here and i'm going to go over to capture specific window sometimes the actual capture any full screen application doesn't work so you have to capture a specific window on your gaming pc here and i'm going to go ahead and select world of warcraft and then i'm going to go ahead and click ok Okay, and then that pops up World of Warcraft here for you. And then now you do need to add that webcam so people can, of course, see you there. So now you're gonna go back over to the plus symbol and you're gonna do the add here. And this, your webcam is actually going to be a video capture device. Okay, so you click okay, uh, and then it's gonna load up your webcam. And there you are, this is a C920. Um, it's not the best, it's it's definitely a introductory webcam to use for streaming. Um, but you have a couple different settings that you can use here. You can uh, change the resolution. Right now, um, it's on de device default, uh, but you can switch for that over to custom and then make it 1920 by 1080. And then there you go, you have a better different look here. Um, and then you can resize it how you want, move it around, have a different setting, depends on you. Now, we're gonna go ahead and just leave it there, leave the resolution the same, the FPS, go ahead and go through the different things that you might want to move around there. It's gonna match the output, I accidentally did that. It's just gonna do the highest FPS you could possibly do. Um, and so, this glitched out here, let me see here. Okay, all right, and then we're gonna put it back over to 30 FPS, I messed it up. Now, so go ahead and click okay. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you see these red outer lines here, you're gonna go ahead and drag them down and resize your webcam as you see fit over your video game here. Now, typically, it you know, these bars are a good guideline and you wanna maybe take up about a third or a little less than a third of your of your actual width that you have available to you. Other than that, you know that's really self-explanatory for the webcam. Um, and then you can also what you can do is you can click on the locks here. If you click on the locks, what happens is you don't accidentally like drag around different things that happen in the video. So which is which is really nice, so that you don't you know mess up your whole setting and everything in that regard. Um, but then that's really the webcam and the game now if you want to add like stream labs like alert boxes different stuff in stream elements what you're going to want to do for that is you need to go over to browser now browser is the source that you're going to want to use of course streamlabs obs has this integrated for anything streamlabs but you have to do the actual link for stream elements and then you have to maneuver around the different like um width and height that you have for your alert box for different emojis that pop up on the screen different things like that um, and then you would click ok um, you would want to make sure you put the link in there for your website so stream labs or stream elements and then that puts it on your screen for you um, and then click ok and then that's really done of course this is going to pop up and look like this for me here but overall this is exactly how you would set up a basic you know look for this and so yeah there's how to set up a scene your first scene um, the browser the game the video now of course you can click on different things that you might see fit you can do window capture if you do window capture you can even capture like chrome and you can um, you know go to chrome if you want to and um, easily show people what it looks like you can also click on the eye the eye shows or hides anything that you do need or want or have so you can do all of them off and, and then you can do them all back on again and so that's a really uh, intuitive way to do it um, that's how you can really do things on the fly which is really cool there you go
I did want to thank everyone for checking out the video. Now, I didn't go over every setting in OBS in this video, but this was a basic overview of how to get things done. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. I'll work on helping out you as much as I possibly can and as quickly as I can. I do get a lot of questions throughout the week, so I try to get back to you as soon as I can. Now, did want to mention I do stream on Twitch every single day, basically. So if you want to check me out over there, uh, we're doing a lot of Fortnite fashion shows i bought a minecraft server um, maybe you can join the server anything like that but again thank you guys so much for checking out the channel and the video make sure to subscribe and have a good one guys